Well, this is the time of year when a lot of different types of uh, migratory birds will come in. Um, there's, right now, there's a certain group that's been here for the last couple of weeks. There's the Canada geese, the, the lesser scops, there's been some green winged teals. But at any point in time, any bird along the migra that are migrating could land here. And like last week, there was a uh, one of the kitty weights came in for a very short period of time, and one of our other photographer friends actually got to get a shot of it, and, but of course we missed it because we were somewhere else. So it's a any day, any time, something could fly in. Well, I've always sort of had a, a affinity for photography, and I first started years ago doing flowers with a film camera, and then I got into the digital cameras, and suddenly a whole new world opened up, and there was flowers and animals and birds, and uh, it's just everything that's around. There were a couple of years back, there were some great gray owls that came down from the north, and they happened to come down every five to seven years because of the food shortage up there, and we were out over in Dunrobin area and one flew up onto a post and I was in the perfect place and I got the double wing spread facing right into the camera and that was I think my best shot. I mean if you could absolutely have whatever you wanted what would it be here today? I think I would like a full-fledged bald eagle to come in and land. I've been trying to get a shot for a bald eagle for a long time. They're starting to come into our area more and more, but they're very skittish and you get within 100 feet and they're gone. But if one would land real close, get a perfect shot, that's what I would want.